Do you wish to create artworks that look so realistic people mistake them for photos? Well, you have come to the right place. My name is Seamus and I specialise in creating realistic pastel artworks. Please join me for this short tutorial on how to quickly draw photorealistic cherries with pastel pencils. My aim for this lesson is to show you just how easy it is to create highly realistic drawings using just pastel pencils. In my opinion, pastel pencils are easier and faster than normal colour pencils. They are so easy to blend, you can put down so many layers and the colours are always very vibrant. Whether you are beginner new to pastels or you want to improve your pastel skills, I'm pleased to talk you through how I created this drawing. So to start, we're going to begin drawing these two stems. This drawing size is relatively small so having a sharp pencil really does help here. These stems may just seem simply green to start with, but if we look closely at the reference photo, there are many different tones going on. Different shades of greens, some more yellow and some more blue, so we'll be sure to put those in as we see them. Some of the sides are darker than the others, so we'll also pay attention to that. The great thing about pastel pencils is how easily they blend in with each other. Drawing multiple layers of various colours and tones automatically smooths the pigment out, so no blending tools are needed. It's also incredibly easy to draw textured details on top of other layers, especially when using a great paper like pastel mat. As there are two cherries in this drawing, I'm going to quickly speed through this first one so you have an idea of what to expect, and then talk you through the second one. But here you can see how easily this realistic cherry is starting to appear. Also, check out the description for any relevant information, such as the different brands of pastel pencils I am using. So, to begin drawing in this cherry, I first opt for a darker red to create a smooth base layer in this dark band that covers the two main highlighted areas. This will then be followed by a vibrant red and I will use small circular motions to gently blend the pigments together. Before I continue, I just want to very quickly let you know that I have this full cherry drawing tutorial over on Patreon. This is a much more in-depth real-time lesson so you can follow along and draw with me. This lesson will also feature all the exact pencil colours used along with much more voiceover content to give you the fullest understanding of how to create realistic art with pastel pencils. I will also provide you with a printable reference photo and show you how to transfer the image to get accurate outlines. I will then walk you through my method of how to choose the correct colours from the reference image. If you would like even more guidance with creating realistic art, as well as this cherry tutorial, my patron also includes many other art tutorials and lessons to help you improve your skills and knowledge. There are all sorts of in-depth lessons on different mediums and explanations on how I use various tools to aid me in creating lifelike artwork. The subscription options are monthly and you can cancel at any time that suits you. The great thing about Patreon is that for a small monthly fee, you can instantly unlock and gain access to all the past lessons that I have already published so that you can start learning my full methods and techniques straight away. If you feel that my Patreon will be useful to you, the link is in the description for this video and I would absolutely love for you to join me and all the other students already learning over there. Okay, so back to the cherry drawing now and I'm just going to lightly go back over that vibrant red layer with this purple colour. Then, for the lower half body of the cherry, I'm going to lightly mix red and purple tones by using a light pressure. Once I then go over everything with my vibrant light red pencil, in light circular motions, this will gradually blend the layers together so that the colours combine to what I want them to be. I will then reinforce the dark areas on this left side to keep the contrast high before moving on to drawing in the highlighted grey details with a sharp pencil. For the lightest areas I will use a hard pressure with a white pencil and then go back in with my purple to darken the edges even more. To draw in these two main highlights that we can see, I first put down a light layer of red before going on top with a white pencil like so. For the very brightest highlight details, I am using the Caran Dash Chinese White which is the whitest white I own. After different gradual layers of pinks, reds and purples, you can see how the multiple layers of pastels start to blend in with each other and smooth out. After blending and smoothing out the two sections with my light red, I'll then go in with this deep purple and enhance some of the darker areas by using a light pressure. I'm just focusing on the two sides to keep the 3D shape and also in the middle section. I'm purposely leaving out the middle line that we can see on the reference photo as that is simply an unfortunate imperfection of the cherry. I'm just choosing to leave this out. 
to draw in the shadow, I first map out the darkest underneath section with a black and then I use varying shades of grey to complete the different sections. Drawing light shadows on white paper can be difficult, but I find that layering very light greys with whites gives the perfect subtle effect. To carry on, I'm just using a light pressure with a black and dark purple to further refine the dark areas and to start introducing the small dimple textures that we can see on the surface of the cherry. Again, as we add these subtle textures in, we only need to use a light pressure for this as we want to complement the layers underneath, not override them with too much pigment. So now I'm doing the same but adding textures with lighter colours such as pinks and light reds. If you would like to know how I sharpen my pastel pencils, you can click the card above now to watch my video which has a helpful section on this. And now I'm just lightly refining this top right edge with reds and purples to better improve the shape before finally using the sharp white pencil to soften the edge up on the right side to complete the drawing. If you've made it this far, thank you so very much for watching this short tutorial. I really hope it has given you a bit of an insight into how you can use pastel pencils to create realistic drawings. Check the description out for any relevant links and also please feel free to check out Patreon where you can find the full in-depth tutorial for this cherry drawing and much much more. Thank you very much again for watching and I hope to catch you in the next one. Before you go check out this pastel pencil guide, it's packed with tons of useful information and it's free.